In a strange twist, a MedFlight helicopter descends on Brockton Hospital Monday afternoon to rush one of its own employees to a Boston hospital after a car drove into the hospital's radiation therapy center. That's the car to the left, inside the center's front doorway. The impact killed Dr. Mark Vassa, chief of radiation therapy at Brockton Hospital. Four other hospital employees were injured. One of them, a female secretary, was on that med flight to Boston. Another doctor was treated and released from Brockton Hospital. The victims' names or conditions were not known Monday night. I, I, I can't really explain it. It's a lot of different emotions, you know. The driver, 76-year-old Jane Berghold of Rockland, says she doesn't know what happened when she drove her Oldsmobile into the reception area inside the hospital. The car hit 58-year-old Vassa, a Norwell father of three, while he was standing in the reception area. He died shortly after the crash at Brockton Hospital, where he worked for 20 years. It's a difficult time for everybody here. It's, uh, as I said, it's a tragedy that this occurred. It's uh, sad for the person driving the car. It's sad for the people that were there. It's sad for Dr. Vassa's family. Uh, it's sad for the Brockton Hospital family. Distraught hospital employees leaving work were escorted to their cars by hospital security as news media helicopters circled overhead. A couple of people at the scene wondered, until they got the facts, if a terrorist had attacked the hospital. And that was the scary part. So people were kind of going crazy in their head and they weren't really sure what was going on. And people tend to think the worst, you know, especially since 9 11. All the power went out in the hospital and, um, you know, they call a disaster code. Over there, I go to the nursing school and it just sounded like a big accident. Crash? A big crash and the power went out and that's it. A girl in class, she got a text message saying that this was on the news that there was an accident. Authorities say the accident remains under investigation. No charges were filed Monday. Right now, we're doing all of our work that we have to do as pertains to the motor vehicle in question and doing a thorough background regarding the, the medical condition of the woman operator as well as the entire event itself. The Radiation Therapy Center will be closed Tuesday and will reopen on Wednesday. Maria Papadopoulos, The Enterprise.